It was a big single story building that Patty had done, built in, out of the Californian skill, school building system. And she discovered and found for herself. And Norm was on the jury. Uh, Norman was very much like he is now, but much more so. And maybe a year or two later, uh, I had a opportunity, a work opportunity from, from my father, who uh, ran a, a company within the Taylor Woodrow Group, uh, developing industrial estates. Uh, and I was always pestering him for, a, you, know, give me, you know, give me a job and get me started in practice. And he said, well, you know, but get yourself a partner first. And I remembered this chap, uh, Norman Foster, who I heard a little bit about. We met up and we never built anything on this industrial estate, but we went into partnership together on it. And it was very enjoyable. Um, and it was a, in, a, in an ordinary house with a room on the first floor. I think there may have been some doctors in the house as well. We had a room on the first floor and there were two other people working in it. One of them was Wendy Foster, his first wife. She, she, was, she was a very strong influence on Norman. Well, there were only two of us anyway. Well, it was Norman and Wendy and I. Norman had just discovered gliding and so that was really his main interest at the time. I got the IBM building started. Um, that's my recollection. IBM were a, a building client for architects and they had used Arabs to, Arab Associates, the architectural side of Arabs, to build them a factory in Portsmouth. We were put on a list to do them temporary head offices. It was a sort of key, key project for the practice, I mean, we had we, we only we only had uh, funny little buildings to do, bits and bobs. Willis Faber bought some 48, 49 different small buildings in Ipswich that were sort of contiguous with each other, and they bought them over a period of time, and nobody knew what the shape of the site would be. We started quite detailed design work on it before the site was finalised and nobody knew which buildings we would be able to acquire and what the shape might be. So this anebic shape, or anebic concept, and it could, it could finish up at any different shape depending on the number of sites that they acquired and how, how the town developed around it over, a, over really perhaps a period of about six, seven months. And that's why Willis is, is a curious shape. Norman got absolutely passionate about gliding and bought himself a bloody great glider, uh, which uh, was really where, where his hearts were at the time. Because the building wasn't very tall, you see. The building was only ground plus two, three storeys altogether, finishing up in a really nice restaurant and roof garden. The roof garden was a real bonus. I built a swimming pool and it's, you, you can see it from the street, you can see it through, you know, it's... In most buildings, escalators go zigzag like this. From one floor to the other, you come up one escalator, and, and then, no, no, up one escalator, you get off, you turn around and come back and go up the other one. That's how escalators were. But Norman had this idea of putting one after the other, I mean, it's still one of my favourite buildings. That's mine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>